What is going on, everybody? I wanted to give you a quick update in terms of what I've been up to. Everybody been into the lovable .dev AI and creating directories and ranking ranks. So those that are into digital marketing, I am on this journey to get better at SEO. It's actually trying to gain the algorithm on Google. Uh, I got this idea from... Uh, this Christmas party I had with my cousin, she wanted to get better at finding leads. Everyone wants to find leads. Everyone wants customers. That's the number one problem to solve when your business is just about to start, how to get customers. And I'm going to show you what I did at Lovable to make a rank and rent for a local tutoring business. So I'll show you my screen and I'll show you this. So this is uh, my ranking rent for Adelaide True Dream. Uh, I'll put the prompts down below, but essentially I've been following income streamers. I'll put the link to the guy's uh, video where I pretty much copy and pasted his template. I'll just say this one thing. If you copy and paste templates, it can work part of the time, but you still need to do a bit of thinking. So AI gets you to a place where you can get to a website looking like this, but you still need to tinker it, okay? So with Rank and Rinse, what I've learned is that you need a contacts page and breadcrumbs, for those that don't know what breadcrumbs are, especially for me that I'm still learning, breadcrumbs are essentially part the slashes after the .com to make Google want to search you out. Again, I've done this for the last four weeks. I still don't know what I'm doing when it comes to website development and SEO, but I'm learning. And for those that haven't started yet, please start because that's how you improve. I would say this website is 100% perfect, but I'm going to deploy it because I know it's going to take a couple of months to warm up to get the clicks as well as the impressions. But I've only spent a maximum of probably three to four hours on this. And I don't know what else I could do to further improve it. Um, lovable, I'm paying for it, 20 bucks USD per month. And I feel like for those that don't have any technical experience, all you need to do is just chat. Um, I'll paste the link for Income Surfer's video on how to make directory via AI. You can also use it for ranking rents. I made a couple with WinSurf, but they've been one pages. I haven't been performing so well, but I do want to track my journey. So this is my Google uh, search consoles. I made a couple. This is a local col colonic irrigation service. It's been up for a month. No clicks, 97 impressions. Hard to know yet, but it's pretty niche. So I'm not too sure if this really matters. But we'll see how things go. Uh, things that I'm pretty surprised with, I made this AI directory pretty much copy and paste called adelaidehcare.neme.com. 12 clicks, 2.6k impressions. I don't know what to make of this. I'll just leave it. Um, I used the unicorn platform. I mean, it seems okay, but... I don't know. I mean, this is probably the best performing one. It's been running for two months now. I'll give it another three. Haven't had any uh, submissions yet, but we'll see how things go. Um, what else can I show? This is performing pretty well. Events photographer Adelaide.com, met for uh, my friend. This is doing well in terms of impressions but no clicks um not too sure to do here but something to track again all these rank comments are one pages one thing i've learned about one pages is i'm trying to leverage exact match domain which kind of works i don't have any backlinks yet or citations i'll probably wait a month before i pay for it i'm trying to be a bit more budget savvy see what how powerful exact match domain is before I add anything. That's one thing about SEO. You just want to be testing things individually and see how things go. 
things that are performing poorly uh, is Adelaide Roofing.com. It's just stable, like two impressions per day. So not the greatest, but we'll see. Uh, I tried to do Julian Goldie's uh, exact match domain calculators. I did barista5.com. Uh, uploaded this earlier this month, so it's been less than a month. Two clicks, 194. Again, it's a one pager. Uh, Barista Fire, 60 impressions. I don't know. I feel like still early days, but still learning. Okay. I feel like what I need to be doing is up, up deploying and seeing the results and then uh, refining what I need to do afterwards. So just looking back on the last two days, things that I can improve on is with Lovable, it took me 54 live prompts to complete this. For 20 bucks, I would have to say pretty cheap in four hours. I need to deploy it. I still need to buy a domain. So I need to do that. That's an extra 10 dollars USD. So in total, 30 bucks all up for a site. And then you just see how it goes. Uh something else I should be talking about is I've tried to do the same thing on VS Code. Again, this is my journey with AI and web development. This, I must say, is not doing the greatest. So for those that are still on the journey and trying to figure out how to um, make AI work for you, not as easy as what YouTube says it is, but you just stay on the grind and just keep practicing. So I feel like Bun is more faster than NPN. Uh, so that's why I'm doing that. So we'll see. <clears throat> um, I'm not the greatest, but I'll show you anyways because I want to have everyone see what's what's up and there you go nothing so this is what this is the problem i'm having with, with vs code it's scary when you add more prompts because you've got i had this working prototype and now i messed it up somehow but if you guys have made it this far i just want to see if i can fix it so i'm using Klein, which is fully free which is probably another reason why it's messing up. For those that are still considering if you should pay for products versus going for free products, if you're going for free products, you should probably have a good background understanding of how code works. That way you can actually guide it. For me, I have no idea what's going on. So this is why it's messing up. So I'm just going to be like, um, oh, this is what I'll do. I'll copy all this. <clears throat> Please fix. Then we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Oops. That was my alarm. I work up at 5 a.m. today, so yeah, I want to do some work. And uh it's 6:45, and I finished a direct a, a ranking ramp. And let's try, try to do another directory, hit jujitsu. Catch up with my brother for some golf for the holidays. Won't be seeing him again for too long. Going to build better relationships with him, talk to more people. Um, I felt like yesterday was yesterday was my probably most social day ever. Caught up with some friends. And yeah, it definitely feeds this goal. On top of like, especially if you're grinding super hard. I've noticed that um, I've got super, heaps of spare time. But I'm not using my time properly. So for me, I'm not too sure if it works for everybody else. But two hour spurts instead of four hour marathons is better for me because I'm more of a sprinter than an endurance type of person physically, and I believe mentally as well. So if you can figure out this concept, which is something I just made up, if you can sprint would work i feel like two hours would be the max and i feel like that's um that 
that consists of just being mentally fatigued after two hours. Um, you can go out and get, get some sunshine, which I've been doing, but every time when I come back, the energy has been dropped down significantly compared to when I just burst it. And normally that's during 6.30 to 8.30 a.m. in the morning. Then I have to, you know, do my own thing, like gym, go to work. And I feel like a lot of the, the mental fatigue comes from making decisions consistently, like what to eat, what to do, where to drive, what to do at the gym, who to talk to. Um, and I feel like a lot of people who make less decisions perform better at their side hustle because if you are trying to do a side hustle you have to add more decisions into your life and i believe that's what people are trying to reduce when they're looking for freedom when they have a lot of money they have to decide less on whether it's expensive or not expensive and that's what i'm trying to figure out when it comes to why I'm doing this and why I'm doing a side hustle, yeah, I want the money for the freedom, but it honestly feels like I already have a bit of freedom if I've identified that making less decisions makes me more content and more happy. I guess that's what people want. I guess that's why kids are more happy because they don't need to make decisions. And I feel like when you become an adult, I feel like the decisions become exponential like what job to pick, which lifelong partner to pick, how to stay healthy, what is good, what is bad, and what is the gray area in between. But that's pretty much it. Let's see if this fixed the problem, and I'll end the video there. And look, we've got Hello World. So I've literally destroyed this website. I'm not too sure if I rec can recover it. But <clears throat> I'll tell you what I do know based on um based on uh yeah I've, I've I've totally messed it up okay <clears throat> totally messed it up but let's see if I can save it so I got this from VS code uh so this is what it's supposed to look like and Here's the code, uh, and I'll show you if I can save it. So I'm going to copy this, paste that there, save it, and boom. All right, saved it. So <laughs> that's pretty good for non technical. All right, so with the site, I was still trying to figure out a skill. Currently, my skill is copy and paste, but I'll leave that at that. It's been more than 10 minutes. Wanted to film this video just because I need to keep the consistency up, consistency up with tracking my failures and my journey. And the journey is the failure. So I feel like each video doesn't have to be a banger, but the whole series should be a banger. Like watching me now to 12 months from now, where I am. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. <clears throat>